There's a lot of conversation off the course. First of all, the Masters drew 3.4 million viewers. Best for Augusta since 2018. Really? It stopped the bleeding. Listen to these numbers, John. This year, we have talked about LIV and all the players that went abroad, and now they're off the radar. We talked about all the no-names that are playing on the PGA Tour. TV viewership, Phoenix Open, which is a marquee event, down 35%. The Bay Hill Classic, the Arnold Palmer Invitational, down 30%. The TPC, which is a Grand Slam event, viewership down 15%. Where do they owe golf? They're not watching golf. LIV, Doral Open two weeks ago with all the marquee names playing at the Trump Resort. Only 243,000 viewers for an LIV tournament with all the marquee names in Miami. Amazing. So golf, golf's viewers have disappeared. Why? I think the fans are tired of the narrative of money. I think we have nondescript winners on the PGA Tour with the exception of Scotty Scheffler, who's kind of dominating. And the LIV is not on anybody's radar. I don't think no one likes the false excitement of, quote, team play. The TV ratings have evaporated on the Pro Tour. And the merger talks, well, they're still out there. Uh, now, in terms of Rory and Phil, Rory McIlroy denied a report in the Irish Independent, which is the big newspaper in that country, that he was negotiating an $850 million deal to jump to LIV. He didn't answer the question, did LIV make you the offer? He said, I was not negotiating. I'm going to stay on the PGA Tour forever. Phil Mickelson, who is at the bottom of the barrel right now in terms of trying to be competitive on LIV, he confirmed this week at the Masters they're considering dumping the 54-hole format to go to a 72-hole format next year. Hey, the reason they're not anybody in the LIV does not qualify for world golf ranking points, mm -hmm. which prevents them from getting into all the other Grand Slams. Yeah. But they're not going to give up the, quote, concept of team play rather than go back and just play metal play the way they normally do here in the States. So they're making one concession. I don't know if that's going to convince the world golf ranking people to start giving them points because it's still team play and they don't recognize team play as a viable way to play the game. And there's still enormous pushback on the PGA about we can't let these guys back in for free. They need to pay a penalty because they violated their tour card to go there. And enormous pushback. We don't want team play as part of our format. So that's a big story in golf. John, I threw a lot of junk at you. Go ahead. Yeah, a lot of junk there. Uh, I think there's another factor here because when golf was at its pinnacle with Tiger and Phil, you know, those those superstars had personality and and they kind of had their own thing, you know, where Scotty Scheffler is a hell of a golfer. But, you know, he's just like another guy, you know, he's, he's just, another good guy, a good guy. No question. But, you know, all the things that Tiger did moving the sport forward. I mean, there's a long list of accolades that he brought to the table you don't see as many characters. There's no more John Daly's or, you know, guys that are fun to watch or interesting to watch to give you a little bit more to make it must see TV. Yeah. It, there's no Arnie and Jack anymore. Mm -hmm. There's no golden bear. There's no Arnie's army. Obviously tiger and Phil reinvented fan support with who they were in their style. And it's kind of disappeared again. John Daly should be playing in LIV for 50 cents. You know, John Don, John Daly with the ab, absurd outfits. Yeah. You know, I, I, I interviewed him a couple of times and I I found him weird. Yeah. Um, me calling somebody weird. But, you know, the only thing John cared about were his sticks, his smokes, and his sons. He'd fit right in on LIV, smoking, drinking on the course, hitting shots into the water, running up and down in shorts. That's what LIV is. But uh, so, yeah, it is a different era right now. They have to solve this. This this civil war has to end because it's killing golf. Nobody's watching the PGA here. Mm -hmm. And LIV is playing at all these different time zones in French equatorial Africa and all these other countries. <laughs> Nobody's paying attention to them. What a disaster that this, well, this why, thing is Why created. does LIV cling to this team model? You know, is this like popular in Europe or yeah, they, are they, they think? Or do you think this is the new innovation that's going to make golf better? Yeah, Greg Norman wanted something different. What he's got is a loser. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we, we're look. It's golf is an individual sport. You know, we look at for individual people. We don't really think of teams. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me. I concur with you. Final time.